Now. Oh, Joseph had a question. Yes. Come on here. What is the question? Remember, his question applies to everybody. Bring this up. What's the question? So, the clock here. Well, Joseph has been probably uh, figuring out how to read minds because I guess I'm just going to show what I was going to show next. So, look, you're good. <laughs> now, look, look, here's the thing, okay? And I don't know if I'm answering this question, but I'll answer it in detail if indeed I don't, okay? So, what happens here, like, let's say we started from the mount here, okay? A good way to get that boss grip, okay? You put your thumb right in there and you go right over and now I'm cranking it right here okay so let's say I just kind of take it easy let's say it's a little bit loose right here I roll grab these kind of hit came off but he starts turning to the right right there okay okay I'm gonna get that S mount right there okay from here I'm gonna switch hands here Sit on it. Okay? Kick that leg. Put that head on me. Okay? Pull. And finish. Does that make sense? Because that's a good way from side control to get them to turn and you can go in an S-Mount. Does that in any way answer that question? Or was that the question? I was thinking about the arm bar. Show me. Triggering a reaction. You're here, readjust that boss grip. That's a manager grip. There you go. I got to bring here. Comes around. Okay. Look, right there, right? Okay. That, that's essentially what I, what I showed. However, it's different than what he did. Go back. Okay. Yeah. Look here. He did this. He's now hopping off. Okay. Oh, so right hand go. Oh, you kept that as an underhook, right? So I turn. Yes. Yes, yes, sure, absolutely. Now, what he did there, what I would do is, come back up, cut my tricep more, right here. Look, uh, we set the boss because that's like a male room grip. There you go, yeah, there you go, look. And, I, and he hops off, and I turn this way, cut, uh, cut my tricep and pull it. There you go, and now step over. There you go, much better. Okay, this foot, aims for the belt, okay? Do it again, so that when you step over, put your foot right here, and then sit. One more time. You just, yes, you just, yes, look. Look this way right here, cuff it. Now you step, oh, yes, uh, yes, yes. Right there, you see how you turn my hip, okay? Now this right here, it could be under my armpit right here, okay, but scoop. So you lock, yes, and I pull it back. There you go. <laughs> yeah. right. Excellent. That's one option to get the arm bar. Okay. Uh, first one. Professor Phil. What he's gonna do, and all of a sudden he's like spinning around, getting the point the, that okay. Way to that. okay, look. Basically, what he did was this: is that when you turn him on to the side here, look, put it to the belt here, here, here and finish, okay? That you can do, because he's already thinking in a more matrix-like advanced way. So here what we're gonna do, okay, is you get the boss grip here. You're trying for the choke here, you scoop under. Let's say you forgot that leg, okay? You step over, and now I'm reaching here, he turns to the side, okay? And now I'm just gonna crank his head, okay? And he's probably gonna reach over with this arm right here and help his neck. Yes, because from here what I'm gonna do is my left knee goes to his chest, my right foot steps right about here, and as my right knee drops, the left foot comes up, and I got a boss grip. I got a boss grip with an S mount. 
from here, you hook right here. All right, I actually hook here. Grab your gear here. Frame the head, push it away. Scoop that right there, okay? Cut that forearm. Sit, but don't lean back. And from here. And you can notice where it finished before I even lean back. Okay, I didn't do this. Okay, you should be able to finish it right here, hook, hooking that forearm. Okay, notice where it finishes. And imagine if I went and lean back. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, I have to scoop, otherwise, and I'm pulling here because otherwise my hips have to be closest to the joint that I'm attacking. The joint that I'm really attacking is the shoulder, okay? Then it's the elbow, then it's the wrist. So what I want is, as I step back, I have to cup this right here, get this right, and I'm looking here, look, if you get, the both arms are inside, you can now lock this up here. So what I want is, I want to like pull his shoulder or his arm out of the shoulder socket. That's kind of how I look at it. If I miss pulling the shoulder out of the socket here, okay, and even here, that's shoulder. If I miss this, then it turns into an arm. If I miss this, it turns into here, and then in the worst case, you have a wrist. But if you have both arms in, you have feet crossed. If one arm is out, like this, okay, I don't have both arms, I'm gonna keep my feet right here. And I'm still gonna pull that arm up. Okay. The key is to finish that arm lock before your back hits the mat. Yeah. Okay. So, so essentially what I did was, okay, I just turned his head. Okay. So all you're gonna do, for, we're gonna do it this way. I wanna turn him onto his right side. Now I'm gonna just crank that jaw. The more you crank it, they're gonna pull that elbow and that right hand is gonna push that elbow. Yes, and I'm going to push this arm in and I'm gonna clamp it with my bicep here as I drive forward. So that my right knee comes here and I go here, cut that forearm here and I'm gonna switch my hands. I'm gonna dip my head, get my right hand deep into my collar, and now I have that forearm here. I can frame it here, I can cup this, I can do both here, scoop here, and see how I'm still small ball? As I sit back, I'm still crunch. Cross the feet here, I like this better. Some of you really like this better here. And now I have this right here, and I go, What'd you feel it? In my shoulder. Shoulder, okay. Here, shoulder. Now we'll be here, more arm. Elbow. Okay, elbow. Okay. And with this also, okay, as you fall back here, you have this, this here, okay? I also have this. And if he grabs his wrist and begins to defend here, depending on how he's defending here. If it's this way, this is very simple to break. It just, I have to have pressure here. I, cut, I grab my gi up here, and I'm flexing my bicep here, I'm pulling. So if he commits his hands here, you do this, go. One, push, and then reset. So look, I do it here. It's typically this hand, it's gonna go, wanna, wanna go under my leg, like that, you got it. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna tilt here, and I'm gonna go off, push, hold it. Yeah. Because what he wants to do is, he wants to scoot up and push up. Yes, right here. Because I lose my leverage for the arm, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, is that I'm gonna stay heavy on that, on that hand right there, okay? And I'm gonna grab it on the inside. I'm gonna tilt to the right. As my leg comes off, I push, Reset and separate. Okay. But going back to the position, you had a ball strip, you had the palm show here. Now I'm gonna go right across that jaw. Right here. Now look, I take that elbow, I push it right into my elbow pit. 
lean out, and now I have that arm. Can you take that left arm and put it back? No. Nope. Good, right here, this is real tight. My right knee goes behind the head. That switch the arms. Right here, pop that tricep here. See how low, see, look at my left foot. It's deep under that, by that shoulder and it's bladed. Okay, I'm not stepping on, all my weight is on, right? Yeah. Yep. Look here, scoop that head. And I'm gonna sit back, still crunch, right here. Coming back. Okay, because he can't frame his arm. If I let go, he can frame his arm, he, he, he frame it the other way. Okay. Whichever way, okay. but not that way. Okay. Any other way. Okay. Look. Right there. See, I brought the elbows together, and now this hand scoops it. And finish it. Okay? Because the frame. Okay, look at it. This. I take that frame, and I pull it. And I turn it, and then I scoop it. Right here. But this is all pressure. You see how tight the hips are? So try that. The key is to turn them to the side and encourage them to turn to the side. So you don't go across the neck, you go across the jaw. Okay? Let's do it. One, two, three. Sorry. Did you get for running over time? <laughs>